Today we have PBM prediction by partial matching. Here's the general outline of the algorithm as always. But I personally very recommend you to write these steps down. It will help you if you are going to learn that or when I will show you examples. General idea here is that, that we predict the probability of the next symbol in our sequence by having some contexts remembered and assuming the probability according to the probabilities for the symbol we have faced. So first of all we determine the order of PPM. If this order is like for example 5, we will use 5 symbols as context. If our context has not been seen yet, we use smaller context. If the symbol we encode was seen, we use its counter, so the number of times we have seen the symbol. And uh, we divide the counter of the symbol by all the symbols we have found in this context plus the counter of the escape symbol. If the symbol was not found, we encode the escape symbol by dividing its counter by number of all symbols occurred in this current context plus the counter for escape symbol. And we drop to lower context. And if we are in context 0, we encode symbol with the his probability yeah, actually by the formula I've written on the, in the bottom right corner. And uh, if the symbol has not been seen yet, we will use minus 1 context. I think it will be much clearer on the examples. I will give a, a little bit more theory now and then we'll jump to the examples. Very important thing for prediction where partial matching is exclusion principle. So, in some sim uh, if some symbols have been seen in any context, not but they have not been our target symbol, we ignore them in future contexts. And different versions of PPM. So, PPM A is just the standard way of doing PPM algorithm with exclusion principle. PPM C uh, and PPMB and PPMX and uh, some other versions of PPM. This thing only tell these things only tell us about how we calculate the counters for our escape symbols. So in PPMC, the counter of the escape symbol equals to the number of different symbols we have in the current context. For example, we have seen two A and one B. Number of symbols is three, but number of different symbols is 2, so the number of diff the is counter for the escape symbol will be 2. So PPMB is just as PPMC, but the counter for each symbol starts from the second occurrence of the symbol. PPMX escape counter equals to the number of symbols with counter 1 and the PPM with star. Uh, this algorithm looks for the shortest deterministic context and uses it. If this doesn't work, we will use specified version of PPM. For example, it can be PPMC with star. We will use PPMC if we, do, if we cannot find a deterministic context. And what is the deterministic context? Um, it's such a context that has been seen at least once and it has always been followed by the same symbol. Let's take this example. This sequence ananas and banan is given. Next symbol is A. We will use PPMA and we will use second order of our algorithm. So second order means we will use these two letters. And uh, let's find them in the whole encoded sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is, we ignore it. Okay, which symbols we have seen after N, A, N? First, A, we have seen two times, I think, here. D, okay, th we have seen it three times, actually. D and the escape symbol is uh, 
How much is this cape symbol? It's one. From three feet. If we would have continued uh, the algorithm, we would have uh, used this interval for arithmetic coding. But we encode A with this probability in arithmetic coding on this step. Uh, for later encoding we would use the interval where we use three units, let's say three units, yeah, for A, one unit for D, and one unit for escape symbol. Uh, and we are like continuing this interval and if we would have continued the interval would uh, the algorithm we would have split our interval to a to a further steps okay let's think of the th second example and our example here is this long long sequence we will use fourth order ppm on the first step what symbols have we seen after HOMO? I think only L. Counter for L is 1, counter for escape symbol is 1. We encode escape symbol with the probability of this, yeah? 1 divided by 2. We encode escape symbol. We have seen actually this interval and we continue encoding like with this interval like that for arithmetic coding and we will exclude L all right so we are dropping to the lower context lower context is OMA what have we seen this uh, like this OMA what have we seen after OMA we have seen H here L but we have excluded L right M or not no no only this in this case so we have PPMC right for PPMC the counter of escape symbol uh, equals to the number of different symbols we have seen. Here we have seen only one symbol, L. But here, even though we have excluded L, we have seen two different symbols, right? Once H and uh, I think one time L, or even two times, I didn't count, but whatever. So the escape symbol will have the probability of uh, the counter of two. Uh, we haven't seen our next symbol R, thus we encode escape symbol with the probability of two thirds, right? And if we would have drawn later what's happening here, once again, here's H, one third, and escape two thirds. We continue with escape symbol. What's next? Uh, next context is MO, right? Uh, in MO we once again only found H, L, nothing new. So we only two symbols have been seen H and L have been excluded, right? Escape symbol. This uh, probability, oh no, I'm sorry, counter 2. So we encode it once again with the probability. Uh, actually, we encode nothing. nothing. We just drop to lower context. Okay, in this new lower context, this will be O. We find a lot of different symbols. First one will be M, second will be H, R, L, and of course the escape symbols 
I was probably a little before, and let's count them. We have found four M's. We have found three H, but we have excluded it. R is two. Found our target symbol. L has two, and we excluded it. So we will we will encode from here. We will formulate new integral, which consists of four units for M, two units for R, and four units for escape symbol. Uh, and we encode R with the probability of 2 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 4. Uh, it's the same as 1 fifth. Okay. And uh, we, if we would have continued, we would exclude it. This, but we will not because we have found our target symbol. And last example for today, we have this big, big sequence. Next symbol is E, we'll use second order PPMB. We don't think of second order yet because uh, we have PPMB with the star. Okay, let's try to find our shortest deterministic context. Maybe it's A. No, it's not. Maybe it's A A. Okay, A A E A A X. No, let's use B A A. B A A X B A A X. Yes, seems like B A A is our shortest deterministic context. context for now. If we use this context, we will find x. Maybe it's 2. Escape 1. What does PPMB tell us? Tell us. It tells that counter for a symbol starts after the second occurrence of a symbol. We have seen 2x, right? Thus the counter for x will be 1 because we are in PPMB, okay? So, uh, X is not the symbol we are going to encode, we are going to encode E, thus the probability of a we we leave this context, uh, encoding the probability of one half for escape symbol. Once again, I'll draw the interval here, because PPM is very closely connected with arithmetic coding. In fact, arithmetic coding is one of the steps for PPM. We leave this interval, we are in the interval of escape because we have encoded escape symbol. Right, this is first step. Second step now. Let's, uh, our deterministic context didn't quite work out, right? Thus we will use now context a A second order as prescribed. So X, but we have excluded it, right? After E we also find after after A A we also find E X E two times at least has A E has been seen, right? Thus counter one. Counter for escape symbol, you can think of it yourself. We're in the PNB. Alright, it's two because we have seen two different symbols. And uh, one of the symbols is our target symbol, right? But we have seen X. That the probability of the escape symbol is two. And we will encode our E with the probability of one third from here. We'll use E and escape. We encode E from here. And that's it.